Hey guys, so it is currently a Thursday and it has been a crazy, hectic morning so far. So today is Thursday and it is 9.33 to be exact and I just got to Madison's therapy. Um, yeah, this morning was so hectic. So starting off, when I got back home from dropping Ryan off from school, I got home, I walked into the kitchen and I realized that his lunchbox was still in the kitchen and his lunchbox he didn't bring to school with him so then I had to run back up to his school to bring him his lunchbox for his lunch and then I raced back home I had maybe about 30 minutes to get myself and Madison ready for her therapy and as you guys can see I didn't even get to finish my makeup so then we had to run out of the house and um, the street that Madison's therapy office is on Usually the traffic is not too bad. There is a school on that road, but the traffic is never really like backed up. But for some reason today, it was so backed up. It was backed up for over a mile and it was maybe 10 minutes from medicine therapy. And it took me over 30 minutes just to get to her office because the traffic was just that backed up. And I don't know if it's just because today's the last day of school for kids before they go on Christmas break or what, but the traffic was crazy. Yeah. That's how my morning is going, but at least I was able to make my coffee. And then today is so gloomy. It's like raining so much. It's overcast and cloudy. And then of course, right when I pull up to Madison's therapy and I have to get out the car, it starts downpouring. All right guys, so we are now currently back home and I just finished um, finally putting on some mascara so I can look a little decent. And I made my bed, I made the kids bed and now I'm about to go downstairs. It's around 10 o'clock now. I have to leave probably like around 11.40 to head to Ryan's school and go to his little Christmas party. But Madison, I had to change her. She was wearing such a cute outfit today and she leaked through. So I have to change her pants and her shirt. And then she won't keep this vest on. I have this fur vest that's so cute and she refuses to keep it on. So yeah, you don't want to keep it on. But I'm going to let her open a gift. So her therapist gave her a gift so i'm gonna let her open it they wrapped it up really cute this is the little gift they gave her so i'm gonna let her open it now also guys look my nails are still on they last quite a while i'm telling you guys those kiss nails if you guys saw my diy on how to make or not how to make how to do your fake nails at home i did that last week on thursday so today makes a full week that they have been on and not one has fallen off yet I know within today or maybe tomorrow, at least one will probably start falling off because these usually last me about a week and if I'm lucky, a week and a half and it's been a week already, but I'm not complaining because I love them. So yeah, I'm gonna let Madison open up her gift and then I will warm up some food. I have some leftovers from last night. I made like a chicken and rice casserole. So I'll warm that up for us to eat and then I don't know, we'll probably relax for a little bit and then it'll be time to leave to get Ryan from school. I also need to do some dishes, but do you want to say hi to everyone? You want to tell everyone that you leaked through? Yeah, you leaked through and mommy had to change your outfit and you were looking so cute. Yeah, you were looking so cute. You want to open your gift? You want out? All right, are you ready to open up your gift? From your therapist? There you go, you gotta open it. <laughs> yeah? Here, look, mommy will help you. I'll start it, look. There you go, rip it. Good job. Go ahead, keep on. Whoa, what is it? What did you get, sweetie? Ooh, you got one of those doodle pads. You love those doodle pads, those doodle pads. You love those. You want me to open it? <gasps> Can I see? So this is what Madison's therapist got her. She loves these little things. You want me to open it? Okay, I'll open it. So Madison's playing with her new little toy that she got for Christmas from her therapist. What are you gonna draw? Are you gonna draw mommy a picture? Don't put that in your mouth though. Are you gonna draw me a picture? I think she likes it. She loves these things. She has a large one of that and she's always drawing on it. She loves it. So this will be good for when we travel. I can bring this one with us instead of bringing your big one. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. If it gets on you, you're gonna eat it. What are you making? Once you're done, you can sit your. A cookie. Yay. How it looks like. 
Okay. What do you guys think we should do next? Maybe What's the, the matter? You want some food too? What did he make? Can I see? Look, yes, Ooh, that's a cool snowman, buddy. What's your favorite part, Ryan? Okay, so all oh, the parts. All the parts. Me now, because you have food. Mm. Yeah. Are you in school right now? Mm. Madison's in school too. And she's sitting on the chair. Hi. You're gonna eat it. How does yeah. it taste? Good. Good. I'm coming for your mouth home and he got a stocking yeah. and a, a goodie bag right there so look. he's opening that's cool yeah look at this it's for the sharp and the pencil oh you got some pencils and, and one more so a pencil sharpener and then i have a bookmark so when i make a book and i want to do something then it'll be right there for me oh that's a pretty bookmark that's Play-Doh. Play you love Play-Doh. Yeah, I like Play-Doh. You have a lot of stuff in that stocking. Whoa! What's that? Another one. <laughs> and I a Batman got cup. A new cup. That's a cool cup. And then I got an eraser. Whoa! What is this? Hmm. Whoa! I never played with these in a long time. Whoa! This might be fun. Putty or whatever it is. Fart putty. Let's see what it is. It is winter sand. Winter sand? Yeah. Oh, look at these candy canes. Oh, his eyeballs fell off. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, you got chips, but you don't like barbecue chips. So, mommy can eat those. <laughs> Ryan does. Yeah, Ryan likes chips, but not. Candy. He just likes plain. Whoa. And he got a lot of candy. And what kind of candy did you get? You got some Airheads, Starburst. Yay. Ooh, you got some Hershey's. Yummy yeah, cool. Hershey's. Shut, shut, shut. Ryan got a present from his teacher, so he's going to show you guys what it is. You want to open it? Um, yeah, look. I squashed it a little bit. Yeah, that's it, play sand. Yeah, and let's get it on my mat before we show you what's inside. How about you open your present first, because then you're going to get it all dirty with the sand. Okay. I wonder what that could be. Me too. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm, I'm opening one piece. I was going to put it under the Christmas tree, but she might tear it, right? Yeah, you can open it. You have other gifts to open on Christmas. Whoa! What is this? What is it? Oh. What is that? Sneezy the Snowman? Is that a Christmas story? Maybe yeah. we can read this tonight. Let me see. Open it. Oh, it is a Christmas story. Yeah, and every time he finds something super warm, then he melts. Oh, that's a cute story. Maybe we can read that tonight. Yeah. All right, guys. So, as you can see, we are now back home from Ryan's little um, class Christmas party. And it is 1-11. And I'm a little hungry. So, before we left, I gave Madison some lunch, but I really didn't eat it eat from it i had maybe like one or two bites so now i'm hungry so i think i'm going to have some cheese and salami i'm not really like starving starving i just want like a little snack so i think i'm gonna cut up some cheese and then have some salami with it just as a snack and then maybe an apple and i'll just have that and then dinner i'll probably make dinner early today and i still haven't even defrosted any meats I need to frost some chicken as well. I don't know what I'm gonna cook for dinner. I wanted to make um, chicken and dumplings, but I don't have enough flour. So I'm not gonna be able to do the salt dough ornament today as well, because I don't have enough flour. I need to go to the store, grocery store tomorrow, and I'll pick up some flour. I probably have to pick up like a huge bag so I can make maybe chicken and dumplings tomorrow and then also do that ornament. I really wanted it tonight though, because it's like rainy and gloomy and cold outside and I thought that would be a perfect little dish for dinner, but I guess that's not gonna happen because I really don't feel like going back out in the rain. I already got soaked. I had to put my hair up as you guys can see because my hair looks crazy. It was so frizzy because it kept on getting wet and I had an umbrella, but it was like pouring and then it was like windy. So all the rain was just, it was horrible. Trying to get into that school with Madison 
and um, the gift for his teacher and then leaving the school with all the stuff they gave him. They gave him a little stocking. They gave him a treat bag. The teacher gave him a gift and then he had his book bag, his lunchbox, his umbrella, my umbrella, and then I was trying to push Madison in the stroller. It was a hot mess. You guys should have seen me walking out of that school. But anyways, I'm gonna eat a snack and I have no clue what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. It's probably just gonna be a boring day. I also kind of want to make a drink for myself. Not right now, it's way too early. But I have a ton of leftover alcohol from my girls tonight. I think I have like four bottles of wine. And then I have the stuff that I had to make um, that Christmas margarita, which turned out really good. Everyone loved it. I think no one drank wine and everyone drank the margarita. I made like one big huge pitcher and it was completely empty by the end of the night. I myself, unfortunately on my girls night, I didn't drink. I did taste it because I wanted to taste it, but I didn't drink on my girls night because that's the day that I was recovering from like a food poisoning and I had the worst headache earlier that day and stomach issues. So I knew if I drank that my headache would probably come back and then it would upset my stomach more. So unfortunately for my girls tonight, I did not drink at all. Everyone else drank. Well, other than me and two other girls, my friend Julie and Gabby, they're not drinkers. So they didn't drink. So I wasn't the only one not drinking. But so I think I want to make myself a margarita tonight because it's officially Christmas break and I have a bunch of leftover limes as well. So maybe I'll make a margarita. Now I'm just going to have this snack and then I guess I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. It is now currently the following day. I did not end up finish vlogging yesterday. I just got caught up with doing things around the house and yeah, I never finished the vlogging. So I'm really sorry that yesterday's vlog wasn't very interesting but again all my vlogs are pretty much just typical days in the life i'm not always going out and doing things super fun so yeah yesterday was another day that was pretty much spent in the house except when i went to ryan's school party and then madison's therapy but um i am vlogging today and today we did run some errands and then we are going to a christmas party tonight so i will vlog that so that one will be a little more exciting but before i end this vlog i did want to jump on here super fast to close out that vlog i want to show you guys a few gifts that the kids are getting for christmas and also a robert's um so yeah i'm gonna show you guys it really fast and i'm gonna close up the vlog this i've already showed you guys if you guys saw my previous um vlog i showed you guys this but i guess i'll show you guys once again just in case you missed that but this is perfect for madison in therapy they do things like this with her where she has to match each shape and like color and get them in the right like little holes so i found this in dollar spot it was only five dollars and i thought that was a really great deal and it's wooden so that's one of her christmas gifts um one of Ryan's Christmas gifts. He is going to love this. My sister actually sent this to him for Christmas and he, please let me know if my kid is the only one who's obsessed with talking about poop. My kid is always talking about poop and she found this game for him. It's called Don't Step In It. And yeah, that's the game. He is going to love this game. So this is one of the presents he's going to get from my sister and my brother-in-law. So I have to wrap that and let him know that it's not from mommy or daddy or Santa. It's from Titi and Theo, so he's gonna love this. And then another thing that they will be getting, this one is for Ryan. He loves Frozen. He also really loves these flippazoos. So I found this one at Walmart a while back when all of their summer stuff was on sale. Ryan, don't come over here. I can hear him coming over here. I should probably close this door. Um, I'm gonna close this door really fast. I had to close the door because he wasn't listening to me. He was coming over here, but got him this little flip zoom. I'm not sure what the reindeer is called, but one side is the reindeer. And then when you flip it over it like that, it turns into Olaf. So that's one of his gifts as well. And then I bought two of these, one for Ryan, one for Madison. Are these? Yeah, these are flip zoos as well, but they are small ones. And it says unbox puppy and flip for a surprise. So I'm not sure which one I'm gonna give to Ryan and which one I'm gonna give to Madison, but I got one of these for each of them. And then I also have this. I think I showed you guys this um, over the summer, but these glove bubbles were a hit with both of the kids. So I have two of these. I don't know where the other one is. I might've already put it in their stocking, but I grabbed two of these. They were on sale last time I went to Walmart 
and I think I got the um, Panda, the other one, but yeah, grabbed that as well. And then two more things, more flippazoos. I'm telling you, my kids are obsessed with flippazoos. I found these little blind bags. They love these type of things, and I thought this would be perfect to put in their stocking. So I grabbed two, one for Ryan, one for Madison. And then I also wanted to show you guys their little bags. But I'm going to show you a few things that I got from Robert as well. That's not all the things that they're getting for Christmas. They are getting other things. But some things I've already wrapped. And then a lot of other stuff is hiding in my closet. And I don't feel like going up there right now. I also was going to film a what I got my kids for Christmas. But then I just never got around to doing so. And it's just way too late to film that. But the other thing I got... Um, for Ryan is this. I found it at Target. It was on clearance. I got it a while back. I don't know when it was. I might have got it maybe like a month ago. He's never watched this show, but hopefully he'll like it. It's called Beat Bugs. It's on Netflix. And I thought it was cool because you can put the toy, turn the toy on, and it interacts with the show and the TV. And this was originally $17 and I got it for only $5. So hopefully he enjoys that. Oh, and I completely forgot about this. I just found this in the bottom of the bag. I got these from, I believe, Dollar Tree. My son loves Paw Patrol and they are just like little miniature figurines. So I got him three of them, I guess. I don't remember getting these. See, this is what happens when I start shopping way in advance. I forget about things that I purchased and then Christmas comes around and I realize they have a ton of things. So his stocking is going to be overflowing this year because I have so much, but I got those three. And then I'm gonna show you two things that I have for Robert. Um, hopefully he doesn't watch this video because sometimes he likes to watch my videos and with my lots he's probably gonna watch this one and see but whatever I just got him this Gillette it's like a shaving kit he's always in need of new shavers and um, new like shaving cream so I got him that set and then the other thing I got him was this polo it's like a kind of like a shirt sweater I don't know how to explain it but he has the same exact one in gray and he loves it he wears it a lot and he's been looking for it every time we go back to like tj maxx or marshall's he always goes looking and he can never find it and i randomly found it the last time i went so i grabbed it for him a blue color but my phone is turning a bunch of different colors but this was i don't know how much this was let's see how much this was this was 30 dollars. so i'm not sure how much this would be like if i were to go to the actual ralph lauren store but in marshall's and tj maxx they were $30, so I grabbed him a blue one. And then he will get a few other things, but like I said, everything else is upstairs. I don't feel like going upstairs, but this room is a catastrophe. I need to clean it up. Maybe I'll make that into a video of me wrapping gifts and also cleaning this guest room up because it is a disaster. But, oh yeah, I want to show you guys their little gift sacks. So I ordered these off of Amazon. If any of you guys are interested, I will link it down below, but these are great. So Ryan has a green one and it says Ryan and it says North Pole do not open before the 25th of December and it says overnight delivery. So that one is Ryan's and then Madison's is the red one and then it has her name in the bottom and the same thing it says don't open before the 25th of December. And I think these are so cute. We had them for, I think, almost three years now. And they have lasted so long. They're really good quality. And they still look pretty much brand new. So that's where all their toys are going to go. I still wrap their gifts in wrapping paper. But then I put them in these. Sacks. All right, guys. So that is going to end today's Vlogmas vlog. I'm now going to try and hurry up and edit this video and get it up. Because it is almost 4 o'clock. And I still have not gotten a video up today. And today, I think, is... Vlogmas day 21, so I'm going to finish editing this vlog and then get it up for you guys. And like I said, I will be vlogging today and today will be a little more interesting because we did go out and do errands and then we are going to a Christmas party tonight. So that's going to be fun. So I will vlog that and then I'm also going to be filming maybe a cleaning video and then some type of sit down video, I'm not sure. But Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's day in the life. It is another typical day in the life of a stay at home mom. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give my video a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed and join my YouTube family and I will see you guys next time. Bye.